Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Brooklyn Loves Dragons. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to fight two different types of Lynels. The first one is a red Lynel and the second one is a blue Lynel. So if you're watching this video, I bet you're wondering, how do I kill a Lynel? Is there any certain way? Well, actually there is. There's two different types of methods I'm going to be showing you here today. So the first method is backflipping, and this is going to take some practice. So if you don't know how to do it, I'll show you the controls. But to practice this, we're going to want to find a nice area where there's no monsters. And you're just going to practice going back and forth with your backflips, and then your side hops going left to right. So this is how you do them if you don't know how. You're going to go to your menu, go to your system, and then you're going to go to special controls. It'll teach you how to do a backflip and side hop. Backflip, you hold ZL to target your enemy. Then you backpedal using the L joystick, the joystick on your left. Then you're going to hit X to jump. Side hop and pretty close. It's just the same thing, except this time you're just going to move it to the side, to the left or right. So we're going to head over to the first Lionel, which is the red Lionel. And for this, you're going to want some good weapons. You don't have to have really good weapons. I fought this actually when my weapons were only like 20, 30. But this time when I'm fighting it, I have much better weapons. It's okay if you don't have that good. It's fine. You're just probably going to want a good sword or like a good one-handed weapon because that's what I use. And they're very helpful. So I'll just speed up the process and uh, go over to that Lionel real quick. So where it's going to be is it's next to Hyrule Ridge, which is on the left side of Lookout Landing, near to Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. Also by the stable, what's it called? Uh, New Serene Stable, that's right, next to the Cinewalk Shrine. So we're going to come over here to the West Hyrule Plains. And this is where our Lionel is going to be. So I'll just head over there real quick. So I want to be able to show you guys that you don't need sages to do this. So I'm going to turn off all of them. Because you might be like, oh, do I need to use this sage or this one? But then you'll be like, oh no, I have to go do a whole temple. This is annoying. So I'm not going to use any just for the sake of you guys. So if you're wondering how to get there, then you can just follow where I'm going. You're just going to have to go around a couple rocks, trees, you know, climb up this big rock. And then you're pretty much there. He's going to be right over here. And you're going to have to watch out for him. Or else he might um, shoot you with his bow. Or hit you with his sword before you realize it. So you're going to want to... If you have any, equip some attack up armor. If you don't, that's okay. And you're going to want to make sure you have all your gear equipped that you're going to be using. So I'm fighting him. And you're going to want to make sure you have some good health potions in case you need to recover. And he's going to start charging at you. And you're going to have to side hop, which will give you the chance to hit Y a bunch and flare rush him. This does a lot of damage in one hit. So for this one, I think he has a rusty broadsword. And he's going to try and do these certain attacks where he slashes forward and sideways. And this is our chance to backflip and flurry rush him again whenever he does this. Just make sure if you get hit, recover your hearts quickly. And if you don't have very many hearts, just make sure you put down a hard save before you start. And try to basically just defeat him. So once he's dead, he's going to have some cool drops you can grab. So the stuff he drops are 10 arrows, a Lionel Saber Horn, Lionel Hoof, Soldier's Broadsword, Lionel Shield, Arrow, Lionel Mace Horn, Soldier's Broadsword again, that's the one he's bringing if you didn't hear me say that. He's also going to have a Lionel Shield, that'll be helpful, it does, I think it has an attack of 35 defense, oh 30. And it's... We're also going to be getting a Lionel Bow, which this one shoots three, I think. 
So I'm going to drop one of my bows for this because this bow is pretty good. Even though it only has 10 damage, but it is still very high and strong. So that's that Lionel. Good job, guys. You beat the red Lionel. Now we're going to go to the blue Lionel. So the blue Lionel is going to be slightly more difficult, but we're going to be using one of my favorite methods, which is where we jump off of things and we shoot the Lionel in the head, and then we get on his back and smack him a bunch. So when you're smacking him, it actually doesn't take up any durability from your weapon. So if you have a weapon that like doubles the attack power and is about to break, I recommend using that because you can kill him real fast if you do that. If you don't have one like that, it's okay too, because I'm not using one. In my, one of my next videos, though, I could teach you how to make weapons that are really strong and how to kill a Lionel really, really fast with that one weapon, and it won't break very easily. But for this video, it's just a quick little tutorial on how to fight a Lionel. So we're going to go to the Farron Grasslands, kind of near Gerudo Desert, by the Highland Stable. It's down from Lookout Landing. So I just teleported very quickly to the Highland Stable next to the fair on Grasslands and we're just gonna make our way over to the stable real quick and get a horse. So traveling will be much, much faster and easier for this quick little journey. So again, I'm not gonna be using any sages for this, but if you have certain sages, this will be much easier because we're gonna be using updrafts. So you're gonna to go to Paddock. He runs this table. You're gonna get a pretty fast horse. Mine only has a couple speed stamina bars. So you just wanna grab a horse and uh, I'll show you where to go. So now we're just gonna go on your horse. Now we're gonna get on the horse and get going. So you're just gonna follow this little road here and it goes down around Heron Lake over to Harfin Valley. And we're just gonna stop on the road all the way up there. So we're just gonna follow it for now. Just gonna go around this little lake right here. There's some horses over there. So right here, we're going to turn left and go up this pathway. Now, I don't think there's any monsters over here, so you'll probably be fine. We're just going to keep going straight past that annoying Korok who wants his friend. Now, we're almost there. So over here, we're just going to get off the horse. And if you look down, you can see that there's the valley down there. Got a couple trees. There's some mon a monster that came out with us. Try to avoid those guys. Again, we're by Harfin Valley. And we went up that road from Highland Stable. So there's the blue Lionel. And for this method, we're just going to shoot him in the head a bunch of times to make him lean over. And then again, we can smack him a lot. So this will help if you have a three-shot bow. If you don't have one, that's okay, too. Just try and find a strong bow. Even a mighty construct bow could work. So make sure you put down a hard save before you get in this battle. I will take off all my sages. And we're just going to want to try and shoot them in the head. Now, you might want to start attaching things to your arrows. So this will make it much easier to kill them. 
and it will do much more damage. So once you shoot him a couple times, we're going to come and get on his back. We're going to choose one of our strongest weapons, and we're going to smack him a bunch. And then when it throws us off his back, you're going to try and get a headshot on him and shoot him again. But it might not work, so that's going to be really annoying. Doing this method, it's cool, but I, if I were you, I would try to combine the two. Because when you have your bow out, you can't have your shield out at the same time. So that can do a lot of damage to you if you're not prepared. So my next video I make, where I fight a white lionel, which I'll tell you guys more information about that later. Where I teach you how to fight a white lionel. They are stronger and much harder. So we're going to combine these two methods and try and use that to fight the lionel. So he's going to do his flamethrower blastings at you. You're going to want to try and run away, and then you're going to try and catch the updrafts, and you're going to try and shoot him in the head one last time. And he should die if he doesn't, or you didn't have a strong enough bow. You're going to have to rinse and repeat. You're going to have to keep doing this process. This one specifically is going to drop some Lionel Guts, a uh, Lionel Hoof, Blue Mane Lionel Horn, Blue Mane Lionel Saber Horn. He's going to drop a, I think, Mighty Lionel Shield. Yeah, he's going to drop a Mighty Lionel Shield. So this is going to be good for us because this shield is pretty strong. It does. It has a guard of 44. And I also have a Savage Lionel Shield from one of the other Lionels I've killed in the past. And it will give you a Knight's Broadsword because this one used the Broadsword again. And it will also give you a Lionel Bow. I believe this one is also the Mighty Lionel Bow. But for now, make sure you like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I'll see you in the next video.